osteomalacia osteomalacia is a disorder of the bone softening in adults and it is an adult counterpart of rickets it is due to the prolonged deficiency of vitamin d so the bones become soft this deficiency result in the failure of the bone mineralization as we all know due to the deficiency of the vitamin d there is decreased absorption of calcium in the body and also of the phosphate which is which leads to the soft osteoid tissue now these osteoid tissue as they are soft because osteoid is a protein which is released by the osteoblast which gets mineralized when the calcium deposits on it now because of the deficiency of vitamin d there is a less calcium in the body so the osteoid remains soft which will leads to the softening of the bone in the body so as i have already told you that this is a adult counterpart of rickets which results in children clinical features the very first is a bone pain patient complains that there is a pain all over in the body the bone pain is a uh, of diffuse kind the patient uh, pain ranges from the back ache to a simple diffuse pain a uh, bone become tender there is muscular weakness patient feel very weak and it may be difficult for the patient to climb up and down the stairs sometimes you will notice that there is a waddling gait due to the weakness or the pain and patient will also complain of the spasm there is a twitching in the muscles uh, sometimes patient complain of muscular cramps other than that spontaneous fractures now fractures occur usually in the spine radiological examination you will notice that the x ray of a patient is of very poor quality why of a poor quality because there is a less amount of calcium less amount of mineralization of the bone less amount of mineralization of the osteoid so there is a lack of mineralization which gives a very uh, our glass or glossy appearance there is a diffuse rare fraction of the bone there are no well defined clear cut margins rather there is a hazy appearance of the bone loser zone is a or a pseudo fracture it is a very important feature that is uh, seen in this condition occur due to the rapid resorption or slow mineralization which is mainly seen around the callus now as you can see here this is a region of a pubic rami where you will see that there is a haziness sclerosis or a loser zone or a pseudo fracture now it is also seen in the axillary border of the scapula you will see that there is a Uh, a zone which gives an appearance of a fracture though it's not a very clear cut fracture it's not a through and through fracture it can be seen in the region of the uh, neck of the femur it can also be seen in the ribs as you can see here this is the pseudo fracture or a loser zone a biopsy biopsy is mainly done for the confirmation of the di uh, diagnosis it is done from the iliac crest and the characteristic histological finding is excessive uncalcified osteoid treatment osteomalacia occurs due to the defective intake or less intake of vitamin d so vitamin d supplementation or vitamin d therapy is the treatment of choice now when we talk about the dietary supplementation of the vitamin d you can see here the different sources of vitamin d it can be a, a seafood especially the fish tuna or salmon then we can have curd cheese liver mushrooms eggs these are the sources of vitamin d other than that high dose of calcium supplements it may be it may take several months before any bone pain or muscle weakness gets relieved so treatment duration is long it might take several months for the conditions to settle down for the features clinical features to settle down when you stop taking supplements uh, or do not take them regularly the osteomalacia may return so it's it's mandatory it's very important to keep on taking the supplements on and off open reduction and internal fixation is often associated with the fracture so it is a treatment which is given to the patient suffering from osteomalacia when there are fractures now how we can prevent osteomalacia so very first thing is the vitamin d rich food should be there in our diet second get moderate amount of sunlight third regular exercises should be done 
Fourth, eat calcium rich food. All the foods that are rich in calcium should be incorporated in our diet. And if needed, take calcium and vitamin D supplementations on a regular basis. So this is all about osteomalacia and how we can prevent this condition.